What is going on everybody? My name is Brandon Gonzalez and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the second ever Mail Monday. So I'm be answering your questions guys. Again, if you guys don't know what Mail Monday is, that's when you guys send me your questions no matter what it is and I come on this camera. <laughs> I come on this pause. And I answer the questions. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna just hop right into these questions and start answering them, guys. First question is from Brian Silva, and he asks, what are some good strength training programs? The only one that I know of is Strongless 5x5. What strength programs work best for you? Okay, so I've done three strength training, pro strength training programs so far in my training career, and that's the Bradley Martin Lean Bulk Power Building Program, that's the original Jim Wendler 531, and I've done the Ensign 531. And out of those three strength training programs, the two that have worked the best for me was the Ensign 531 and the Bradley Martin Lean Book program, but only because they were about linear progression, which means that like, you would improve week by week. The Jim Wendler 531 is different. It's about when you get to like 405 and 500 pound deadlifts, squats and stuff like that, and you gotta break the toes. That's what the Gym Wonder 531 is best for. So depending on what type of lifter you are, you gotta choose between those three in terms of, if you wanna know what I'm doing, pretty much. But out of the Brandy Martin Lean Book Powerbuilding Program and the N-Sense 531, personally, I think I made the most strength gains off the Brandy Martin Lean Book Program, but that's because that was the first program I ever did, and obviously you're gonna make a lot of gains out of it. But what, passed me, what pushed me past my plateaus after the Brandy Martin Lean Book Program was the N-Sense 531, and that really, really helped me get stronger. So. Depending on what you think is best, I think you should choose between those two. The good thing about the Ensign 531 is that it lays out every pretty much pretty much every number you gotta lift. Like if you're deadlift 315, it'll tell you, okay, first set uh, 225, second set 265, last set 310, and it tells you the reps and sets and everything. So that's the good thing about that. Now, if you want something more detailed, like each workout is detailed and it has a set um, reps and sets then the Brandy Martin Lean Book Program is that for you. Only, you have to pretty much figure out the weight you're gonna do because it tells you a uh, challenging weight or like a weight five pounds more than last week. And it pretty much, you just have to figure it out yourself. So that's the thing about that. So it pretty much is a matter of preference. But personally, I think those two programs are great. And if you're an advanced lifter, I think the Gym Wonder Fire one is a good thing for you. Next question is from Eric Blanco and he asks, What's up Frankie? My name is Eric from Dallas. I just have one question. As you start your channel, what is your mindset? Is it a hobby, business idea, promotion? Okay, Eric Blanco, so I'm gonna answer your question straight up. This channel for now is a hobby because I'm not paid for it, but once I get paid for it, it'll become my business. Because this is what I want, this is what I want to do with my life. Like I want to be able to talk to you guys, sit here on camera, talk, help other people, and have this com uh, this communication between you guys. And hopefully, like you guys inspire me and I inspire you. That's my dream in life, to make a job out of helping others and like working out. If my working out somehow helps others, and I will, that's why I keep doing these videos. Because one way or another, if maybe there's one thing in that video that somebody finds that help them, that's enough for me. Um, I love training. I love working out. That's something that's like will never leave for me. So if I'm if I can make like if I can make this a job, right? Me going out there and working out, that would be amazing, guys. And that's pretty much my goal. That's my goal. My mindset right now is well, I don't really expect anything. I, I don't really expect anything. I'm doing this because I love doing it. Like, I'm not doing it because I eventually want to make it a job, even though that would be a great, great fucking dream. I, I don't really expect anything right now. Like, the way YouTube is, you can't really just assume something's gonna happen. Like, for now, I'm just keep trying to build my channel, keep trying to get more audiences here, just so I can have more people to communicate with. But my mindset is pretty much, well, I'm gonna just do this because I love it. And I'm never gonna stop because I love doing it. And you don't stop doing stuff you love, like, you just don't stop. So that's my mindset. Next question is from B Infinity V, and he asks, "What do you study at Casa de Lay, and would you ever have a workout with a viewer?" So straight up, I'm gonna say yes. I would work out with a subscriber any day. I'll put you on video, hit me up, put it to zoo, send me a message, and I'll freaking do it. We'll work out together, be my video, and you get a quick shout out. It'd be dope, right? And what do I study at Casa de Lay? I am a communications major, right? With um, with emphasis on mass marketing and media. And the reason I did that is because since before I started doing YouTube, I wanted to be like a sports analyst or some somebody on TV or somebody who worked with that type of stuff. So I said, you know what? Communication is an, is an easy major. And if I'm doing it in mass marketing, maybe I'll be able to talk to more people because at the end of the day, I think I'm good at talking and I enjoy talking. I enjoy talking to others. So I was thinking, well, what better 
major for someone who loves to talk than a communications major. So that's what I'm doing. It also allows me to have many free electives. So I'm able to take classes like nutrition, uh, biology and stuff like that. That'll help me in my future fitness goals. Uh, until I eventually get my personal training license, which is, I have to test in two weeks for the NASA and PT. Uh, and yeah, that's coming up. So that's pretty much what I'm studying for at the moment. Next question is from Powerlift. It is just a joke question, but I thought it was hilarious. He asked, hey guys, I'm nine and what cycle should I get on? So Powerlift, I told you in the comment, but I'll tell you right now, get on that Flintstone vitamin cycle. I guarantee you those Flintstone vitamins will get too strong. Next question is from Victor Bigstern, and he asks, Hey Franklin, besides working out, gaming, eating, editing, what do you do? You have a job? So I'm just answering, do you have a job? Yes, I have a job. I'm a Postmates delivery driver. You guys don't know what Postmates delivery drivers do, is they get something to their phone, right? Like they get a notification saying, go pick up this food. Go pick up this food at this location, and once you pick it up, it'll tell you the location to drop it off at. And depending on like, the distance, I get paid for that. And then I get tips. That's pretty much what it is. And like, I've been doing it for like a few months now. And that's how I make money. I used to work. I used to have a job at an office, right? And like, they were great. People that were great. The office life just wasn't cut out for me. Like I wasn't meant to work at an office personally. I, I could have handled it. Like I, I would get headaches all the time. And I, I just felt depressed. Because I don't know. I was making way better money than I'm making now. Like they were great. Everyone there was great. I loved everyone who worked there, but it just wasn't for me. And uh, a lot of people call me stupid for quitting that job because they felt I was making the worst life decision in my life. But I'm, I was only 19 at the time. Actually, I was 20. I had just turned 20. And it's like, you know what? I want to be my, I want to be my, my own boss starting now. And I want to do what I, what, what I love to do starting now. And Postmates allows me to do what I love to do, like these YouTube videos on Monday and make money at night when I'm doing nothing pretty much. And you know, it's what I love doing so far. And I know I'm going up a bit on, the, on a bit of a rant, but I hope you guys didn't know that about me. I hope you guys know now. EZC asked me, what is the most challenging life situation you've ever been put in or dealt with? All right, two things come to mind straight up. That's my dog passing away in October or September. Sorry, the end of September, so the 21st, I think. And being bullied in middle school. And both of these things had a huge impact on my life. Specifically, being bullied in middle school, guys, like, that made me the person I am today. That made me the person who, like, learned not to quit. When I, when I was bullied, guys, like, every day it'd be a struggle to get out of bed. Every day it'd be a struggle to continue living, guys. Like, it, it really was, was hard. Like, you know, I'll make a video about this later if you guys are interested. I don't, I've been thinking about making this bullying video for a long time, but I don't know if anyone's interested in watching it where I really want to just lay out the story and just really sit down and tell you guys my whole life story in terms of bullying and like what I went through and how I got to where I'm at now. If you guys are interested in that video, let me know in the comment section right now. What do you guys, if you guys want to see that, like, you know, I just would like to know. But that would have to be like my most challenging life story. I mean, life event. You know, being bullied it isn't easy, guys. Like, even if you're tall and stuff, like, big, like, that doesn't mean anything in, in middle school. Like, kids are evil. Kids are jerks and, like, I went through a lot of middle school because I wasn't really the best looking guy. I wasn't the most athletic guy. I wasn't the strongest, smart. Okay, I was pretty smart, but like I wasn't like, I was socially awkward, you know. And people took advantage of that and like really treated me like shit. Um, my dog dying also put me through a lot. Like I had never lost something in my life, like another life. Like, and I've had my dog since I was 12. And I got my dog and he was there for me when, he, when I was being bullied and I did have that one horrible horrible experience in middle school and he was there for me he was always my best friend and losing him was like a big part of like you know it taught me some stuff like lo losing my 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 best friend taught me some stuff and it taught me that like you know life comes and goes things come and goes you got to appreciate the good things that happen you know what i'm saying and uh, you know i guess those two are the most hardest experiences in my life let me know if you guys want to see that bullying video too um i could be gonna sit here for like 30 minutes and just talk about it <laughs> Next question is from Powerlift, and he asked me, how much do you weigh, bud? 225 pounds, I lost five pounds since last week, bro. Galaxy underscore Beto asks, when you started working out, what weight did you start with squats? I remember you telling me you're only doing chest and arms and never did legs. Thank you if you answer. When I started doing squats, I think I, I had pretty strong legs already when I started doing squats, so I was doing 135 when I started. 
obviously I've warmed with the bar. But I remember only starting with 135 and getting it for like five reps and being amazed. Like, oh my God, I can do 135, I can do two plates. I didn't have to do 225s on each side like I used to do with bench. But yeah, that's how I started off with squats, Galaxy Beto. Powerlift asked me, how much do you weigh, bud? Did I already ask? I think I already answered this, bro. Stephen Verasami asked me, I can't go ass to grass on squat. It hurt. And back. What can I do? I think he, may, think he needs to say it hurt my back. Um, well, take it easy at first. Try it with lighter weight. Try it with no weight. And also, a lot has to do with ankle mobility, so do ankle mobility exercises. If you guys want to see an, uh, a video on ankle mobility exercises to help you go ass to grass, then let me know in the comment section below right now. Clashing with DG asks, Gang, 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 how's your cameraman doing? So if you guys didn't know, my cameraman came down with a horrible infection that was in his throat and passed on to his ears. And I hung out with him yesterday, see how he was doing. And he's doing fine, he's doing better. He'll be back next week, guys. So look forward to the videos coming back with my OG cameraman, or my second OG cameraman. My OG cameraman's gone. But yeah, seems like those are all the questions for this week, guys. Again, if you guys want your questions answered, no matter what it is, leave it in the comment section right now. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know if you guys want to see that bullying video. Let me know what any type of video you guys want to see, and I'll do it. You guys already know I'm here for you guys. I'm here to make the content you guys want to see. I'm here to make the content that I love doing, and whatever I love doing, hopefully you guys love seeing it. So I appreciate the support, guys. Leave a like to the video. Leave a dislike if you like the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, and please subscribe if you want to be up to date with all of my content, guys. I know I'm talking too fast right now because I'm trying to do it all on one breath, <gasps> but I'm done now. Peace out.